Hey guys, and as I promised, I am um, Q&A video as I promised. I do five questions on um, each video. So this is gonna be five questions I cover today. If I can fit one more in, I will, I promise. And these are questions I do from my Instagram, sh you know, Q&A. I ask you guys a question every week and I answer them as much as I can. Look at the Q&A uh, highlight on my Instagram. Links are all below, by the way, for my actual accounts. Obviously there's lots of fake ones out there, so make sure you follow the right account. Um, this is a really good question. Somebody asked me how to differentiate between necessary and unnecessary guilt. Now, this is interesting because I personally, well, you know, if, if anyone's feeling guilt in their life, it's a very negative emotion. So my answer to that is number one, there's never ever a necessity to feel guilty for anything. If you've done something, okay, there's a responsibility you need to take. It may not be a good outcome that you created from that action you took that created that guilt. Guilt is, you should feel guilt, but then I want you to get rid of it. So feel guilt and then get rid of it. How do you get rid of it? Well, um, you need to say to yourself, well, why did I do that? Number one. Number two, can I fix it? Number three, what can I learn from it? Um, and can I forgive in that process? So those are four things. Now, I don't think you can hold on to anything. You need to have your own closure. Now, holding on to guilt means you have not had closure on the topic. And that is really unhealthy. It will eat away at you, it will get massive anxiety issues. So please, please, please work on that aspect. So there is no necessary guilt. If you've done something wrong and you really feel that you, sh you shouldn't forgive yourself, you gotta forgive yourself. That's when you feel the necessary guilt in your opinion. Not in my opinion, there's no such thing. Forgive yourself and be an adult about it, which is take action, and rectify as much as you can. There's always a solution to everything. Speak to the person, do something that will help um, or do something that will kind of balance out the bad and make something good, you know? So there's always a way, there's always an equilibrium. I really do believe in that. That's quantum physics, you know, in a nutshell. Human energy is very much linked to quantum physics and you have to find the equilibrium so people get depressed or they get hung up or they go into a, a remorseful phase in their life because they haven't figured out the equilibrium of the good stuff or the upside on this so please 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 find that i hope that answers your question okay next i've had so many people ask me about you want to help financial literacy coaching making money uh, making money like me you know you want help on that um well come to my event Otherwise, sign up to my Millionaire Mindset program because that's where I actually help you on all of those topics. Making money is a byproduct of who you are. If you do it well, it's because you worked on yourself well or you know or you have a healthy relationship with money and you're not intimidated by it. You know, there's a lot of aspects about, people think making money is hard. No, it's not. It's actually so many other things that are way more difficult. I would say um, having a successful relationship is harder than actually making money. Having children is harder than making money. Having, uh, going through, gosh, life and people dying. And you know, there are so many things that are that close to you, by the way. Uh, there are so many things that are harder than actually making money. So why are you guys making it so difficult for yourself? It's actually easy to make money and relative to other things. So I believe everyone can make money. You just have to prioritize it and you'll make it. Okay, so next question that's actually worth answering as a separate question is beating the fear factor. Okay, so from Imraj. Thank you, Imraj, for the question. So the fear factor behind being successful is real. I mean, people are scared of having success in their life. Now, ask yourself, why would someone be scared of being successful? Because it means you will be an outcast very often you know being successful does not mean you fit in anymore and now we're brought up in a world where fitting in is good um, or you feel safe we're comfort we're in a comfort zone and unfortunately human behavior and human brains are not wired to be successful so that's the scary reality of all of this so to beat the fear factor it involves a lot of subconscious reprogramming you need to understand why are you scared uh, and what are you scared of so Everybody has fears, so it's unlikely that anyone can walk in and say, I have no fears. So it's something that all of us have to work on. We've got to figure out what are we scared of and what can we do to switch it. So awareness is the first step because people work off autopilot or when they react, they are not aware of their fears or they're tugging in their subconscious mind. And that's when they tend to have bad habits or lash out or have responses that are not very good or they end up doing stuff that doesn't help them go forward. So 
when you're not aware of your fears, you end up just working on autopilot, which will then actually sabotage your success and you'll always plateau you'll always just make enough money and you'll be that negative individual that everybody's heard of you know there are loads of people that don't celebrate success and will just tell you that rich people are all con artists or they are doing something shady you know so you have to understand what the fear factor is that's holding you so once you're aware of it and we really dig deep on this so i actually do this on a millionaire mindset retreat and i take very small collective people, uh, as a group of people, to a retreat in in a different country on an island with a beautiful view. And I work with you on the subconscious belief systems that you've got that are really holding you back because they do hold a lot of people back. And it takes years sometimes for people to do this on their own, if ever, you know, but with my help, it can be done very, very quickly because I've learned the quantum physics and the neuroscience behind all of this. So it can really, really help you. So once you've figured out what it is you're scared of, we deal with that head on. We, we, we neutralize that. We neutralize that. Okay. Let's say for example, you're scared of having no money. So what I'd tell you to do is like, let's visit that scenario. Let's pretend you had no money. Like what's the worst that can happen? And we make you okay with everything. We bring that fear from being very skewed to balanced. I, there's no major, you know, one's going to die. You know, as long as no one dies through we, through the fears, then we're okay. And if you really think you're going to die, fear of death is a big one too. Then we still deal with that. There is a quantum physics to everything. So let's work on those fears and then you can beat them. If that makes sense. And I hope that that is the most powerful thing you can do as a successful individual. Work on those fears, beat them, and then you can power through any goal you want. Guaranteed. Okay, guys, so that's me done. I hope you like that. I answered a few more questions, but I kind of grouped some of those together. Now, what I can help you with is understanding the relationship with money that you have. I think that's the pinnacle of everything. If you have a healthy relationship with wealth and money, you can be successful. Then you can have a happy life. Now, my philosophy on having wealth is quite simply, it gives you choices and that way you can choose the lifestyle you want to live. Have more freedom, work harder, whatever you want to do. You know, it's up to you. Having conquered this money game means that you are at that position in your life where you can literally enjoy life for what it should be, i.e. create something, create a new company, help people. The best thing that comes out of having lots and lots of money and having no financial worries is actually having that freedom to help others. I really, really believe that entrepreneurs can change the world because once you've mastered money, you can actually go out and create, you can help inspire, you can help lead others. And what, just imagine the opposite. If you're worried about money, you're stuck in a job you hate, you spend all the hours in your life just moaning about something that is seemingly out of your control when it's really not. So once you control money, you are in a state to be a real leader in life. And that's really powerful. And that's what I really want to create through Fortune Academy. So guys and girls, I hope you watched this video and enjoyed and learned something from this because that's really, really important. Now, follow me on Instagram, come to my event. So hope you enjoy that and see you soon. Bye.